I needed this reprieve. I just needed to reset, reset, reset. The cause of this outbreak has not been identified. Civil Defense Health Authorities recommend that you should take the following precautions. If such an announcement is made in your city, don't give way to fear. Local health and medical authorities would distribute instructions so that the outbreak of the disease could be controlled. Control. Health and medical authorities will tell you what to do. Cooperate with the authorities. Above all, don't listen to scare talk, rumors, or myths. What do they expect me to do about it? It's not my headache. You're wrong. Cooperate. 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 Ask not. Well, if you're watching this in the future, once upon a time, there was a little something called the 2020 Global Pandemic. And people had to uh, wear masks like this or that. My friend Mike and I, I think this is the only person I've seen during the social distancing for weeks. Luckily, my wife and I work from home. Mike works from home. And uh, like I said, He's one of the few people I've actually seen. So we were going a little stir crazy and decided to go do some backpacking. And that's what we're going to do because outdoors, fresh air, less chance of virus. Sounds good to me. I mean, it's encouraged by most uh, governors to go out and, and walk. Yeah. Um, so uh, we're doing that. And we're not going to see anybody else. Shouldn't. And if we do, we, we'll run the other way. Yeah, it is raining. It is. Uh, uh, there's no cars. There's nobody. No, there's nobody here. So it is uh, late April, third week of April. We're in Pennsylvania. We're near a section of the Black Forest Trail, and uh, we're going to get some packs on and try to forget that the world is ending. I'll read that. COVID-19 notice. Visitors can help keep state parks and forest lands safe. Following practices. Uh, bring a bag, carry out your trash, clean up after pets. Don't hike or recreate in groups. S six feet apart, cover your nose, yada yada. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna park. All right, park it. The full Black Forest Trail, which I did a couple years ago, is 42 mile loop. It's pretty intense, a lot of up and downs. We're not doing that. We just came out here to get away, do some fun camping. So we're doing kind of a, a loop in the middle, if you will that should get us to some fun camping within like two miles tonight because it is six o'clock right now we came up after work seven o'clock seven o'clock wow yeah so we're going to bang out two miles and then tomorrow i think we said we'll do like six ish and then four or five on the way out if we want to do a third day but well, we got options uh figure out a safe way to do this. Wouldn't want to dump our pack in the water in the first uh, quarter mile. Honestly, just walking across the low-lying rocks. Slippery? Being, being wet right now. Be careful. Good? Yeah. So we banged out a mile. Now we're going to grab some water. And then we'll start another mile uphill. And there's the fun part. Where does that go on the pack? Well, you have straps on the outside. Yep, I'm just gonna strap it right on there. It's like 7.50 now though. Whew. Huh. Trying to beat the light. I know. I don't oh. think I've sweat this much in a long time. Yeah. It's just been a steady grind up there from the water. It's because I have more weight than ever because I'm trying to have a fun time. Yeah, well. And good food. We're not hiking too far, so it's all good. Oh, almost there. It is definitely dark. But I think we found the spot. You can see the blue sky over there. And uh, I think this is where our campsite will be. Uh, well, maybe not, Mike. Yeah, so. Now. I you had a better clearing view. Yeah. What's let's, over there? Nothing. Okay, let's keep going. Got a little more. Yeah, I remember from your video you had a pretty good, like, direct view of the canyon. Yeah, it's not quite it's open enough yet. It's even more clear right now. <sighs> oh, here we go. Oh, oh, we're on it? Okay, yeah. cool. So, yeah, today's pretty much a bonus day. Like I said, we it was a work day, so you'll see the view down there tomorrow. But it's pretty awesome. Can't see much now, of course. But... 
We're gonna set up camp and uh, have a nice dinner. Looking good. New York Strip. This grate was here. We found it. Somebody left this here, so that's nice. We got a little fat drippings. It smells good already. There we go. That works. Fill these up. Have a little dinner. I like it. I'll take this one. Enjoy that and then uh, hit the hay and see where tomorrow takes us. <sighs> so, we hung out. All night, pretty much. Uh, and here we are, so. And we kept holding out too, because we got pushed off by rain for like, a total of like three hours too, so. Kudos to the Dutchware two-person tarp. It's the bomb. Um, but we were stuck under this thing for hours last night. And when we finally cooked the steaks, what? That's when we got a break? Yeah. And then within 45 minutes, rain. It opened up again. But here we are. So down there is the view. I'm gonna convince myself to get up out of bed, hammock, whatever I'm in. And we're gonna pack up. Should be pretty quick to break down. Pretty cool with this system. Um, as you can see, we have both hammocks under one pair of trees and the giant tarp over top um i guess that's not proper social distancing for covid but i social distance from everybody else that's that's safe yeah spreader bar pole right there so this pole here from dutchware keeps the two hammocks separated and that way you got some space in between and basically uh like i said two hammocks on one set of trees and we just run the beetle buckles right up to there so i don't know it worked pretty good i mean i didn't really well we didn't really sleep much but it's gonna catch up oh totally but I, I think we were both just super excited to actually be out and yeah. I, doing I literally was like a little kid in a sleepover and I just talked the whole entire night. Yes. And then we, yeah, laid in the double hammock set up here for a couple hours and just talked and didn't sleep like little girls on a sleepover. But <laughs> that's fine. So we're going to break down. He's got his uh, hammock gear under quilt. I got my sidewinder under quilt, which is nice. Um... We're just going to break down and get out of here. Uh, I got the pole mods in here. That gave us some space. So basically, got this pole here that runs along the middle. And then at the end, what gave us the space for our heads and what kept this from digging into the tarp is this separate pole mod right here. So, worked pretty good. But, for now, time to pack up. So, got the Kaika pack. Love this thing, it opens up medic style, luggage style. I can flip it open like that. And all my stuff's right there. And I can just kind of fill it. And be real quick and easy to get out of here. So, we're thinking maybe we're gonna get on the trail and like, we'll break down, get on the trail, and just have breakfast somewhere else. Yeah, where there's water. Yeah, I kind of like that. And sometimes I like that. It just makes it feel like you kind of get going a little quicker. Not bad, dude. I mean, it's overcast for sure, but still pretty cool. Yeah, dude. I like it.
All right. Camp is broken down. Pack's going back on. We're gonna head back down to the river. Naval run. Making rice, <laughs> eggs, and bacon. Oh yeah, not noodles. We don't have soy sauce. But you have salt pepper? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. It'll be good. Do a good breakfast. We did check the uh, weather band radio and it's uh, not good. Damp, lots of rain. Yeah, but we, we're gonna have uh, part two. It's just not gonna be here. Well, I mean. If we didn't have options, we stay out here. Our cabin is 30 miles to the north. So we have a contingency plan. Yeah, yeah. but for now, We'll just hike off the ridge. Look at that. I do love the view up here though. It's great. PA Grand Canyon. Follow the orange blazes. And you'll eventually get to water. Get a little breakfast spot. We got a little waterfall action down there. Breakfast time. A little bacon. A little yes. eggs. That was your container you got me. I like this. Nice. I like it. Alright, cooking some rice. Matt's are waking up. I know the bugs are back now that we're down here. That is for sure by the water. All right, so the rice is pretty much... Rice and bacon, staying hot right now. All right, nice. Beautiful. Now it's time to cook a couple eggs. Oops. I broke that one. What happens? Uh, that one's good. Nope. No? That one failed too. Double fail. Sorry, it's still gonna be good. Still eggs. Still eggs. Eggs with a view. If only we could just get rid of the gnats. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, it's peaceful. I need like a tail. Oh my God. Good Lord. That looks amazing. Thank you, sir. Get this lovely meal down before the rain opens up. And at this point, I think we're going to backtrack to the car and uh, maybe finish out the rest of this trip at the cabin. Could be fun, something different. We'll take you along for that. But right now I'm going to eat this while it's hot. Mm. One day shorter than expected, but it's all right. We had fun. fun, and uh, now it's time for the next phase of adventure. Ooh, get this jacket off. It's getting warm. Yeah, dude. The temperature is 51 degrees now. All right. Well, throw the pack in. Get on the road. Head towards Wellsboro, and continue this.
get more leverage if you uh, hold it by the blade, I think. Sharp blade though, right? No. You see, we have like the consistency of sand right now. <laughs> All right, well, we got something for but we now. got two pieces we can we can split and have some wood now. There you go. So that'll work. And uh, maybe next time, it's a new chainsaw blade. Yeah, or I mean, we'll just take some home and get them sharpened. I mean, there in that bucket you gave me of all the doll ones, there's like 50 chainsaw blades. So if you take it somewhere and just uh, it's seven bucks each, and have them in a day or two, and you'll have a whole bunch of new ones. And then we would have wood. Oh, I would have cut this whole thing if, if, because if it's if it's cut and got good teeth, it's like whoop. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, that that took 15 minutes for three cuts. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that'll keep us warm tonight. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Food, shower, change, chill, chill, chill. Yeah. That's enough work. We can hang out now. Chorizo ain't bad. Yeah, man. And it's a lot better eating it here than where the bugs were attacking me. Yeah, breakfast was a little challenging. But, no bugs on the deck here, so that's nice. Alright, so, have a little dinner or lunch. I don't even know what this is. But it's good. Dinner. Uh-huh. And there's no rain yet. But when it does start raining, I'm going to go right in there. Alright. Generator is kicked off. Dinner is done. It's about 4.43 in the afternoon. Sun's out, no rain yet. Beautiful day. At this point, eh, probably gonna pick out a movie, kick back with that, do a little entertainment from the uh, selection over here, and pick something fun out, and uh, just relax. When it rains tonight and all day tomorrow. Oh, when, when the rain is hitting the tin roof. But truth be told, we're still eating all our camping food. No. I'm still using my sleeping bag. Yeah, so we're still camping. And uh, there's no, uh, well, there is electricity now because you turn on a generator. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and we are going to watch a movie. Yes. But it's the same as getting wasted from society, and I yeah. feel much better. I needed this reprieve. Work has been terrible, and uh, I just needed to reset so i can be a better human being for everyone so there you go we got our combo package a little backpacking little cabin little movie and uh that's about where our night's gonna go here and so is the rain so i think we're going to get this toasty one more time we can have some breakfast sleep good mike yeah it is raining raining it would have been the worst hike ever. yeah it's like not just raining so our covid escape party i think is just fine so far this is working out go with the flow adventure is whatever you make it
That is correct. No matter what, even if it's unsuccessful, your first plan's unsuccessful. I don't even know if that makes sense. No, that's well said. All I know is we're going to leisurely pack up and um, probably get on the road and get home at a decent time. that about covers it can't really see me right now because it's all all closed up generators off i think we had a great time somehow we were successful on this entire trip of not coming into contact with anybody else so no patient zero over here that about wraps it up so until next time i'm syntax 77 and right now it's quarantine time A struggle against the common enemies of man, tyranny, poverty, disease, and war itself. Can we forge against these enemies a grand and global alliance, north and south, east and west, that can assure a more fruitful life for all mankind? Will you join in that historic effort?